an existing domain that you have at another registrar, such as GoDaddy. I have a couple left over at GoDaddy. I'm in the process of transferring everything over to our Bluehost dot com account that is the hosting company that we recommend it's our bluehost dot com that's o u r b l u e h o s t dot com and that is our affiliate link uh, we appreciate if if you use that you don't have to but uh, we do make a small commission should you uh, use our affiliate link and join with bluehost we do highly recommend them they have outstanding customer service and uh, unlimited bandwidth and that is what we use at gfydmember.com so let's get started uh, first you have to do is go over to your GoDaddy account and this is how it works at GoDaddy uh, you're gonna wanna log in first and after you've logged in you're gonna be able to you'll come up to this page for you and you're gonna come over to the left side where it says my products and scroll down to where it says domain manager click on domain manager once this page loads for you, you'll have the opportunity to select the domain name that you would like to transfer. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and transfer over to Bluehost. So I'm going to click on the link for TwitterKimberly.com. And when that page loads, there's two things you want to do. The very first thing you want to do where it says locked, you want to unlock that domain. So you're going to click on Manage, uncheck the box that says Lock Domains, and then click OK. This will take a couple of moments for the changes to take effect, so you're just going to click OK. The second step you want to do is go down to where it says authorization code, right here, authorization code, and you're going to click send by email. Now this will go to the address that is currently on your GoDaddy.com account. So uh, you, if you're not sure where that is, you can click the contact information here, and it's going to let you take a look at what um, information that you have listed for your domains who who is the contact information for this account you don't want to change this information right now because if you do change it you're gonna to have to wait 60 days before you're able to transfer that domain away over to another registrar slash hosting company so what you want to do is simply understand which email address right here um, that this information is going to be going to so that you know where to go to to get the authorization codes that we're going to need to complete this transfer and what we're looking for actually is the second tab over is administrator um, this may be different you can have you know every tab registrant administrator technical billing can all have different email addresses so the one you're looking for is administrator so I know right now by looking where it says email address over here um, that I know that this is going to this email address so I can click cancel I know that that's gonna go there I know that that's the email account I need to open up so I'm gonna click on that send by email right here link and it says that that it there will be a message sent to that the authorization code to the administra administrative contact for this domain which is the email address that I just shared with you to transfer this domain so I'm going to click OK and this may take just a couple of moments so the next thing I want to do is while that's taking a couple of moments go ahead and log into my Bluehost account ourbluehost.com when you come to the C panel, which stands for Control Panel, once you logged in, logged in, this is where um, you will be brought to. So you're going to scroll down, and you're going to go to where it says Domains, and then Transfer Domain. So you click on this link, and which domain is it that you wanted to transfer? Well, I'm looking to transfer TwitterKimberly.com, and I'm going to click Continue. The next step, it's asking me to enter the EPP authorization code. So I'm going to go to that email address, that administrative email address, and check to see what, what code they have sent to me. So I'm going to click on my inbox, and it's going to say support at GoDaddy.com, TwitterKimberly.com, information you requested. I'm going to click on that link. It's going to give me the code that I need. I'm going to copy and paste that code right here, authorization information, that whole string of code. I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to go back to my Bluehost account and I'm going to enter that code right in here by right clicking, paste, continue. 
The next step it's going to ask me for is an admin contact verification code. The minute I entered that EPP code, an email was automatically generated from GoDaddy to my admin contact information to that email address. So I'm going to get another message from GoDaddy at that email address giving me this next code. And it's going to say domain transfer verification for twitterkimberly.com. I'm going to click on that link. I'm now going to copy the verification code by right clicking, copy, go back to my Bluehost, our Bluehost.com account, click inside the box, right click, paste, continue. Okay, I did get a warning because this is in, uh, expires in 30 days. Uh, you really want to do this. Make sure you've got time to do this. The one thing I like about GoDaddy is I'm going to show you in this video how to do this instantly to have this transferred so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but we've entered everything that we need to. Uh, I want to use the name servers from Bluehost, so I'm going to leave this radio button checked right here. I want to auto-renew because this is an important... Um, domain name for me and I know it's something going to keep forever and ever and ever so I want to click that automatic renew button right there I want to keep the contact information the exact same that I have for Bluehost right now so I'm going to leave that radio button checked uh, you can check the box here for domain privacy so that people do not know who owns the domain name I don't mind uh, so I'm not going to pay the additional $4.95 a year you do have to agree to the terms of service by clicking this box and then just click add transfer to shopping cart it's going to load this page and it's going to give you the opportunity to select the amount of time that you'd like to have this domain so I'm going to leave it at one year for now I'm going to use an existing credit card that I have and you also have these other radio buttons you can check if there's some other one that you would like to use uh, the previous card that I've had I know this is the correct one I can select by going through the drop down menu of a if I have more than one credit card registered on this account and that's the one I want right now I'm gonna put the CVV2 code on the back of my card here on there uh, in that box and I'm gonna click pay now it's gonna say I'm gonna you're gonna be charged right now is this okay ten dollars you ready yes I am click OK and the process is now complete on Bluehost now to automatically get this domain instantly registered or transferred I'm sorry <laughs> instantly transferred over to uh, Bluehost. What you want to do is go back to your GoDaddy account where it says at the top tab up here domains you're gonna scroll down to where it says pending domains and you're gonna click I'm sorry pending transfers you're gonna click pending transfers and you'll see that the pending transfer I have right here is Kimberly, twitterkimberly.com so I'm gonna click on that link and I'm going to go up here to where it says accept or decline and I'm going to click accept I am going to click the radio button accept and then OK and now the changes are taking effect it'll give just a few moments and that domain will be transferred over and to double check you can go back over to your email account that you have uh, this all going through the admin portion of who um, is in, is in control of this portion being able to make sure this transfer goes through com uh, completely is uh, where that's at you're gonna go to that inbox and you're gonna see transfer of Twitter Kimberly .com. click on that link and you'll see that the information was sent the confirmation of registrar transfer uh, request is complete and our domain has been transferred. That's how easy it is to transfer a domain from GoDaddy over to ourbluehost.com. And for more information and, and trips and trips and tips and techniques on how to use WordPress, how to match.